our carbon footprint. It's the amount of greenhouse gases we humans release to the atmosphere, and a lot of it comes from our energy use. Let's meet six families from three countries in very different parts of the world. All use energy and all have a carbon footprint. Six families, three countries. What do their carbon footprints look like? The other major household energy use is for transportation. Brought to you by gasoline and diesel, refined from petroleum. Since the time of the Model T, personal transportation has defined America. Over 90% of American households have a registered driver and a personal vehicle. Since our American families live outside the city, each family owns two vehicles. Every week, the Langs commute 260 miles back and forth to work. The Presslers commute about the same to work and school. Okay, let's get in the car. Let's go get the girls for basketball. Tricia shares driving duties for after-school activities with other parents in the neighborhood. Commuting, plus trips to the grocery store and other errands, adds up to about 1,100 gallons of gasoline per year. All this driving accounts for the last third of our family's energy use. Because carbon makes up much of the gasoline, transportation is about 20% of our family's carbon footprint. Trains, buses, taxis, and rickshaws make up the mass transit that is widely available in India. For personal transport, it's the motorbike. Only one in 25 households in India has a passenger vehicle, but the number of cars is growing rapidly. Most cars and motorbikes run on gasoline, creating a serious smog situation. Compressed natural gas, CNG, is used in buses and taxis in the city to help reduce pollution. The Hondas share one vehicle to commute 30 miles per day through city traffic. John drops Preeti off at her office and then drives to his. Shoba Honda uses a CNG taxi to go to work each day and for errands. The Sharmas drive two vehicles. Both of the families drive vehicles made for the Indian market by Indian companies. These vehicles are smaller and more fuel efficient than American vehicles. For the Honda family, vehicle use accounts for about 75% of the household energy use and half of the carbon footprint. For the Sharmas, the number is even higher. In Cameroon, transportation is mostly by foot and motorbike. Cars are expensive to buy, operate, and maintain. Gasoline and diesel are at a premium. Neither of our families owns a vehicle. Mary Anumendam and her neighbors walk up to an hour and a half along the roads and paths to her farm plots and carry produce back the same way. Morris Amin's plantation is 15 miles from his home. He and his workers hitch a ride to go to work he hires a truck to transport his harvest. The children walk to school. Because rides are shared, the families don't use much energy for transportation. Transportation accounts for about a third of their energy use, but the fossil fuel used for the vehicles makes up the household's total carbon footprint.